the best ISO build in NBA 2K21. If you missed my last two videos, I showed you guys what my first build is going to be, which is the best build for running around screens. It's also good for ISO, but it's mainly for running around screens. And then second was a two-way slash and playmaker, which is if low three-pointers actually are consistent, will be the best ISO build. But Mike Wang said that if you have a low three-pointer, like below 70, and you're still hitting consistently, that he will do a hot fix. So I don't think that that build will be viable unless he just lied and low three-pointers go in. You guys see, I already made this build twice. Once as a point guard and once as a shooting guard, and I perfected it. This is the six foot seven point god. The best ISO build in NBA 2K21. Let's get into it. All right, so first things first, like I said, I did testing. It is better to make him a point guard, a six foot seven point guard. And then the pie chart that you choose for this build, finally, it's gonna be viable. Nobody really used this last year. The pure yellow pie chart, the pure playmaking pie chart. And then for this, I would tell you that you would be able to go this pie chart right here to get higher vertical. But since you go six foot seven, you must go the speed pie chart in order to get 99 speed. Now copy these attributes. I want to talk about the shot close, right? Because you guys tell me that you don't want a max shot close. But if it's anything like last year, shot close is extremely, extremely glitchy. And you definitely want to have it high. So you'll see you get six finishing badges, which is enough for two gold badges. You want to max these three shooting categories, mid-range, three-point, and free throw, and then put your post fade to a 46. And you see that gives you 14 shooting badges. Now this is like having 17 shooting badges last year. So there are four core shooting badges you need all on gold. That's Hot Zone Hunter, Green Machine, Dead Eye, and what's the last one? Range Extender. And that takes up 12 shooting badge points. So after those four, you still have enough for two shooting badge points that you can put on anything you want. Now next, I'm gonna go to defense and we'll do playmaking last. You wanna max every single one of your defensive categories except for block and offensive rebound, but you still wanna put some on block up to 39 so that you can get eight defensive badges that is more than enough you should be able to get two gold and one silver or two gold and two bronze badges however you want to do it eight defensive badges at six foot seven with these high defensive ratings is really really good and lastly playmaking you max your ball control and then your pass accuracy you put to 84 85 so you get 24 playmaking badges. You can put your shooting down if you want and get 13 shooting badges, and you can go all the way to 29 playmaking badges. This is another way to make the build, right? But personally, like you can go with this. There's nothing wrong with that. But I just feel like 24 playmaking badges is more than enough. I really don't see a reason why you would want more than than 24 playmaking badges because you the core ones obviously i'll show you guys when i go over the badge at the end here but i'm telling you 24 playmaking badges is enough so you see you have a 75 3 a 95 ball control this stuff is all going to change when i go to my uh wingspan my height and let's do that right now this is the these are the ratings though like i said six finishing so you get two gold finishing badges which is good 14 shooting, which is like 17 shooting last year. You have enough for the four core shooting badges plus two more badge points. 24 playmaking, which means you can have six Hall of Fame playmaking badges and then eight defensive and rebounding badges. And at six foot seven with these defensive ratings is, is good enough. It really is. When it comes to body shape, like I tell you guys, I always, always, always go built it's just how i like my player and then height six foot seven point god it might look like your ball handling is at an 85 your weight now this is a kind of glitchy 188 you see once you hit 189 
your acceleration is at 87, you go down to 188, it goes up to 88, you go lower, your strength is at 44, 188 is the sweet spot. So you get 45 strength, 88 excel, and 90 speed. And with 90 speed, that means that when you are at 99.9, .9, this build has max speed. Six foot seven with 99 speed. It's, it's insanely glitchy. And then the wingspan, I just would go minimum wingspan. I feel like there's no reason not to. And one big thing that minimum wingspan does do for you is look at the ball control. Your ball handling goes from an 85 to an 86. So right off rip, right when the game drops, you can speed boost with an 86 ball control, a 74 three point, which at 99 overall, you'll have a 78 or 79 three pointer, which is high enough. You will green every open shot. That is actually a really, really high three point rating. You're driving dunks at 68, which means you should be able to get a dunk every time you go to the hole. And then an 80 driving layup is really high. You will unlock the long athlete layup package and you get four choices of takeover. I would just automatically rule out shot creating takeover. Sharp takeover could be really, really glitchy on this build. It really could, I'm telling you guys. There is nothing wrong with going sharp takeover because they would have to guard you so high and then with 99 speed, you could just zoom by them. Playmaking takeover is what I feel like most people are gonna go with. Your teammates just won't miss off of it. You'll get ankle breakers. But on this build, I'm gonna go slasher takeover because they're not gonna be able to stop you driving and that's when you're gonna be able to spark threes. Slasher takeover is what I'm gonna go with on this build. And as you guys see, I have built a playmaker. So my NBA 2K21 build, I will have two builds for 2K21. One ISO build, which is gonna be this, the, my six foot seven point god playmaker. And then my other build, which is my six foot five playmaking shot creator. If you didn't see that build, I tweaked it a little bit, not much, just a little bit. I'll probably come out with a video on that in a few days, but let me show you guys now the exact ratings and 99 overall right here, and then we'll go over the badges. So 99 overall, you guys already saw the badge count, six, 14, 24, eight, really, really balanced. And those are your ratings. Let's get into the badges. With six finishing badges, I feel like that you can't go wrong with gold contact, gold slithery. Like I said, I feel like hop steps, all that stuff is gonna be nerfed this year, so you don't really need fancy footwork, but gold contact and gold slithery, two amazing finishing badges that should make this build really, really good finishing in the paint. Now the shooting badges, like I said, the four core shooting badges, Hot Zone Hunter, Range Extender, Green Machine, and Deadeye. You get those four, and then you have two left over. So you can go either difficult shots, tireless shooter, volume shooter, hot start. You can't go wrong with any of those badges. Personally, I'm gonna be going with tireless shooter on this build because I'm gonna be, you know, wanna dribble, get some good clips. Tireless shooter should come in clutch with that. So this is what I would go with when it comes to my shooting badges and now 24 playmaking badges more than enough i'm just gonna go over this real fast you get those four without question we don't know how bailout's gonna be this year so at this point i'll leave that on bronze and then i really feel like since the behind the back is back in the game tight handles will be good and then honestly i'm just gonna go ahead and put bailout hall of fame this is what i feel like the badge layout should be on this build you could also just keep bailout on bronze and maybe put dimer on gold but with floor general hall of fame your teammates shouldn't miss off this build so i would put bailout hall of fame that is how i would do my playmaking badges and then with the eight uh defensive badges you guys know clamps intimidator and then the last two you can put silver pick dodger is as that was the glitchy thing last year was silver pick dodger so this is what i would do for my defensive badges and that is the six foot seven point to god the best iso build in nba 2k21 or nba 2k20 2.0 for the current gen i hope you guys did enjoy this video and i hope you guys do think about making this build because i really feel like this is the best iso build in the game 
hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did do me a favor drop a like sub if you're new and i'm out